The Cheese by Margie Palatini. It's story time with Mr. Burnett. Story time with Mr. Burnett. It's bound to be something that you won't forget too soon. The Cheese by Margie Palatini. Paintings by Steve Johnson and Lou Fancher. Paintings. Fancy. Rules and Regulations The cheese stands alone. The cheese stands alone. Hi-ho the dairy -o, The cheese stands alone. It's from a song. Maybe you've heard it. The Farmer in the Dale. Anyway. <sighs> The rat looked down in the dale and shook his head. What a waste of a chunk of cheddar. He turned to go into his hole, and then he stopped. He looked back at the cheese, standing all alone in the middle of the meadow. So yellow, so mellow, so tasty. This is ridiculous. What's the point of a hunk of cheese being left out in the lonesome when it can be enjoying the company of a perfectly fine rat like me? None that he could think of. The rat licked his lips, grabbed a napkin, and scurried down the hill for some dinner in the dell. And just where do you think you're going? Asked the cat, suddenly jumping down from a tree. Me? Answered the surprised rat. Why... I'm just out for a short stroll. You don't look like you're strolling, said the cat to the rat. You look like you're scurrying and sneaking. Scurrying and sneaking? Well, the rat sounded very insulted. And, as he was quite a good actor, he almost convinced the cat that he was indeed out just for a walk. But the cat, who was very clever herself caught sight of the napkin. The cat's evidence. The napkin. Scurrying, sneaking, the cheese. Aha, uh -huh, she said with a wave. And just what is this? The rat grumbled. Oh, if you must go, no, I'm going to get the cheese. The cheese, said the cat. You can't do that. Everyone knows the cheese stands alone. Give me one good reason why the cheese stands alone. The cat thought, Well, um, hmm. It's the song, she said. Yes, most definitely the song. The song says the cheese stands alone, and that's that. Well, I think it's a silly song, said the rat taking back his napkin, and I'm going to eat that cheese. The cat looked at the rat. She looked down in the dale at the cheese. It did look rather lonely. The cat could not argue that the song was silly, and as finicky an eater as she was, the cat did have a fondness for a nibble of cheese now and then. You know, I believe you may be correct. That cheese should not stand alone. The rat smiled and held out a paw. Care to join me for a bit of cheddar, my dear? So off went the two, down into the dell, headed for the cheese. They were about to crawl under the fence, when who should come running up but the dog? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? The dog was such a bother. Calm down and sit, said the cat. If you must know, we're going to eat the cheese. The cheese, said the dog. The cheese in the dell? The cheese in the dell? But the cheese stands alone. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop your slobbering, muttered the rat. We know all about it. But why should good food go to waste because of some silly song? The dog thought, which was not an easy thing for him to do. He looked across the dell at the cheese. It did look very lonely. 
and even the dog had to admit it was a silly song. You know, he said with a drool, I could go for a nosh right about now myself. So off went the rat, the cat, and the dog to eat the cheese. Here, boy! Here, boy! Woof, woof, orf! Woof, orf! That dog can never keep a secret. The child looked at the dog. She looked down in the dale. Why? You aren't thinking of eating that cheese, are you? Naughty, naughty puppy. You know the cheese stands alone. The dog rolled over with a whimper and a whine. The rat moaned. This is pitiful. I'll take care of this, said the cat. Woof. The cat walked up to the child, purred, arched, rubbed, and mewed. The child giggled. You know, that piece of cheese does look awfully yummy, and I haven't had my afternoon snack. How about you? Woof. Meow. Squeak. So, off went the child the dog, the cat, and the rat to eat the cheese. And then mother called. Shh, shh, shh. I'm going to eat the cheese, called out the child who was completely unshushable. What a little blabbermouth, muttered the rat. No, no, you can't eat the cheese, the mother said. The cheese stands alone. Wait until your father comes home. So they all waited for the cow to come home with the farmer, who was the father, who was told by the mother that the child wanted to eat the cheese. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble, grumble. The farmer in the dell shook his head. Nope, can't eat the cheese. Cheese stands alone. Everybody knows that. The wife looked at the child, who looked at the dog, who looked at the cat, who looked at the rat, who looked at the cheese. It was very quiet until everyone's tummy started to grumble. After a long day's work, the farmers grumbled the loudest. Grumble, 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 grumble. I suppose that song is rather silly, he said, looking down into the dell and staring at the large hunk of cheese. It truly is, said his wife. The farmer took off his hat and scratched his head. What should we do? The rat elbowed the cat, who poked the dog, who nudged the child. Let's have a party. Woof. Meow. Squeak. So the farmer followed his wife, and his wife followed the child, and the child followed the dog, who followed the cat, who followed the rat, who was already wearing his napkin, down into the dell to eat the cheese. And then the farmer stopped. You know, he said, if we're going to have a party, we really should have some apples from the orchard to eat with the cheese. Delightful idea, said his wife, and I'll fetch a few pears. And I'll get the crackers, added the child. The dog thought some sausages would be tasty as well, and the cat insisted on milk. So off went the farmer and his wife and the child and the dog and the cat to get some apples and pears and crackers and sausages and milk. Everyone left the cheese alone except you know who. Take your time. I'll just be here and hang out with the cheddar. <laughs> mm.
Shame on you for what you were thinking. I may be a sneaky rat, but I'm still one big party animal. Hi ho the Dario. The end. And there's the song. If you don't know it, the farmer in the dale, the farmer in the dale. Hi ho the Dario, the farmer in the dale. The farmer takes a wife. The farmer takes a wife. Hi ho the Dario, the farmer takes a wife. The wife takes a child. The wife takes a child. Hi ho the Dario, the farmer. I mean, the wife takes a child. The child takes a dog. The child takes a dog. Hi ho the Dario, the child takes a dog. Dog takes a cat, dog takes a cat. Hi ho the Dario, the dog takes a cat. The cat takes a rat, the cat takes a rat. Hi ho the Dario, the cat takes a rat. The rat takes the cheese, the rat takes the cheese. Hi ho the Dario, the rat takes, yep, the cheese. The cheese stands alone, the cheese stands alone. Hi ho the Dario, the cheese stands alone. This is a story that kids have sung. I don't know, over a hundred years, for a really long time, that's been a folk song and something that people like to sing. What does it mean? I don't know. I think the book is kind of suggesting. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but anyway. Cute story made from that old, old song. The Cheese by Margie Palatini. Thank you for joining me.